Good afternoon, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is an important word. In fact, I might be doing more of these afternoon recordings, moving my shorter lessons to another day as the Holy Spirit directs and post what I'm feeling in my spirit. Folks, I am so cranked up in the Lord there is so much going on. Um, our time is so short. So I'm going to share from my heart today. I had a vision this morning and, um, you know, I, I call myself and I know that I'm a watchman on the wall. And, you know, in the olden days when Jesus walked the earth, the cities were surrounded by walls. Amen. And the watchmen were stationed on the walls watching for the enemy. So that's why I say I'm a watchman. And I say these things quite often because we have a lot of young uh, viewers, uh, not so many perhaps young in years, but young in the Lord. So, you know, I have to always keep in mind we have a wide range of viewers and some new to the Lord. Amen. And God bless. I love you all so much. And thank you for your comments. But my vision, I was standing on the wall and I was looking out to the sea and there was on the horizon, there was a small ship out at sea, very, very small ship. And I was on the wall and I was thinking, boy, I could, God, I could barely see this ship. Most people would miss this ship. And I knew that the ship was going to come in, but most people would miss the ship on the horizon. And that was, you know, a confirmation to me that I, I see in the spirit what many do not see as yet, because I am a watchman. Amen. And I mean, I don't say that uh, in arrogance. Amen. It's just the way God has gifted me uh, these past 40 years uh, in my walk. Amen. I received these gifts very early on. I wasn't saved, but maybe nine months and I was getting these gifts and had no idea what they were and what I was going to do with them. Amen. So that's how God is. He's, he gives us all gifts. Each one has a different gift so that we can fit together and be called the body of Christ. Amen. So the other day I put up a, a video. Why is all this happening? And some of you younger viewers were kind of frightened because I was talking about how the world, these evil men of the world, are consolidating the banks. And I feel that the person in the end times that is the Antichrist is behind that right now. That's what I kind of feel. That's my opinion. But how our medical records were are always are going to soon be funneled through the UN. Well, I was listening to Amir Safadi, uh, Behold Israel is his web, uh, web, uh, his YouTube channel. I don't even know if that message will be up. He was saying, and most of his messages will be taken down because now the UN has partnered up with Google and they will be censoring the internet. Amen. So this is very important. I've told you months ago that I feel we will see the day where I won't be able to say the name of Jesus or Bible on this channel. I've shared with you my days on this channel, this platform are numbered. Amen. I feel it in my spirit. And when Amir spoke that out about, uh, I didn't know that that just happened about three days ago. Okay. So we know that the internet censoring was coming. I mean, it's already happening, but now, uh, it's increased. So every time you tune into this channel, please put your thumbs up. We want this to get as to as many people as we possibly can before I'm wiped off here. Amen. And also, please, I'm so careful I don't use the name of certain countries because we've been, if I said certain countries, the war that's going on, we had viewers from one of the countries, precious Christians that no longer can listen on this channel 
on this platform because they are the enemy, not those precious believers in Christ, but the country they are living in. So it's been happening. I've told you it's coming more and more. And now I see just as the banks are consolidating, just as our health records will be taken over, just as this will have to happen to our bodies and that happened to our bodies the groundwork is being prepared for the mark of the beast. Now, we as the church will not see that. We will be raptured, but we are seeing the groundwork prepared because mid-tribulation, that mark will be demanded of people to take or not, they will be killed. Amen. So we see the groundwork. Now the um, censorship is happening at a very increased rate. I know my days are shortened here. So I want you to share these videos. My spirit is on fire. God has given me more and more. And people are coming and going. Mostly we, we get subscribers and then some drop off. And you know what? That's because we're the remnant. And not everybody is going to accept what the Holy Spirit is saying through my mouth on this channel. But I don't care. I'm a vessel for God and I'm going to do what he writes through my pen, what he shares in my spirit. I don't care. Amen. I'm here for Christ. I'm here for those believers that are in touch and know what's going on. I'm not here for all the bells and whistles and roses that most people are hearing in many of these churches. I'm here to teach people to be warriors because the warfare is going to increase more and more. You're going to see it more in your neighborhood. You're going to see it more in your workplace. The more we stand up in boldness and speak the name of Jesus, the more the attacks are going to come. And I'm preparing you, church, for these attacks. You can't roll over in your bed and ignore the spiritual warfare that will be coming our way. Amen. The devil wants you down. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wants you up and moving. And more and more of you are writing to me and you are speaking out with more and more boldness. So expect more to come your way because the enemy hates us because he hates Jesus. Amen. So I'm I'm trying to, in my own little way here, in my own little world, trying to build up warriors for Christ because we must know how to stand in battle. We must speak out the name of Jesus. We must have scriptures uh, at hand in our homes, praying the blood, protecting our children. We must know how to war and come against the forces that will come against us more and more in these last days because our days on this earth are numbered and you are becoming more and more. You write me, you're sharing more and more and those attacks will come. Amen. And the name of Jesus, the blood will protect you. The scriptures will protect you. And I'm teaching you in my own little way here, my granny way here, how to be warriors for Christ, because that's how we're going to stand in the name of Jesus and our boldness. Amen. They cannot stand against us when we speak boldly in the name of Jesus and we throw a scripture at them. If we roll up and crawl back into our corner, we will be conquered by the demon forces that want to oppress us in these last days. Amen. So I'm trying to teach the new ones how to be warriors. Warriors. I'm trying to instruct them. I'm giving the rest of us confirmations for what we know is coming. Amen. So uh, the reason I, I kind of got sidetracked here, but I wanted to share with you, I was already censored. I put up a word and the title had uh, just a word in it that we would have read to our children in one of their story books as they were tiny children. And they didn't like that word and they didn't post my word until I changed the title. So here I am, this little granny in the midst of this big internet world. I've been already censored. So that was two days after uh, Amir Safadi shared that Google has now buddied up with the UN to censorship. So I don't know how long I have. I don't know, but I want you every time you tune in, please to put your thumbs up so these words will spread while we can get them out. And I want you to share these messages. Um, I'm feeling more and more of the Holy Ghost as I begin to write in the mornings. They're becoming more powerful, more direct. God is not pulling any punches on this channel. I feel um, 
a renewed and powerful anointing only because God knows our days are numbered. I don't know the date. I don't know the time, but I know we are in the midst of the birthing pains and my words are coming more and more often and harder hitting. And that's because we are living. And I say the last of the last days, I say that all the time the birthing pains are increasing. So I will come and I will do these videos without perhaps the scripture and the teaching. I will speak from my heart as the spirit directs. So these kind of messages will probably come perhaps more in the morning hours as I post those words, uh, perhaps more in the afternoon hours, but I will post and write as the Lord directs and speaks as the Lord directs because the time is so very short. And it is time now for the church to open their eyes and be aware of the lateness of the times and the boldness that we must move in and then expect the warfare coming at us from all sides because the enemy hates us because we are God's kids. Amen. So I want to tell you, I wanted to share that with you. The sensors have already hit me. It's coming. I'm praying about what to do. When I see this increasing more and more, I'll probably get another email address and send out uh, an email on Yahoo or somebody else, not Google, at least then I can write what the Lord gives me as these days become shortened and more and more intense, because there's no doubt in my mind, I will not be on YouTube one day, perhaps sooner than later. I'm feeling it in my spirit. I know it to be so, you know it. I'm building up the young believers to learn do not be afraid. Do not fear. If you haven't heard that message, pick it up. Post, post scripture, Psalms 91, Ephesians 6, all over your house. When you pour your coffee, read those scriptures. Get that in your spirit. When you start the day, go through your house, oil your children with as, you know, representing the oil of the spirit, oil them down oil your door jams, begin to war because it's not going to get easier. It will get harder, but we have the victory in Christ. Amen. And I will encourage you to listen to Saturday's message. God has had enough. Judgment is upon this world, upon this country. God has had enough. God is giving me more and more of these messages out of the first chapter of Isaiah. That'll be coming Saturday. I don't care. I'm speaking in boldness. I'm preparing the remnant. You babes in the Lord, you younger people, do not be afraid. Do not be at fear. We will be out of here in the rapture. Never fear. You love God. You are born again. You believe in the Trinity and the blood of the living God and the resurrection. You are saved. Do not let the enemy lie to you. I'm getting comments on that too. And I will begin to speak more and more boldness, more and more directly, because I know that I'm the watchman looking out at the sea and I see what most people can't see. God has his watchman. That's just my call in these last days. And I see that ship out at sea on the horizon that very few see. And I say to the harbor master, this ship is coming. This ship is coming. And that's my role. And that's what I will do as long as I can be on this channel. But I'm telling you, I've already been censored and it's coming and it's going to come more and more intense. And please move this channel quickly so that others will hear it, uh, share it, thumbs up. We want this these words from the throne room to come out uh, as often as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, I'm on fire. The Lord is on a move within me. My pen is moving through the pages because we are seeing the birthing pains uh, coming quicker and quicker and more intense. And I'm here to prepare and to warn and to watch upon the wall because nobody else can see that ship on the far horizon except those called to be watchmen warning the harbor master the ship will soon come amen god be with you listen saturday i'll keep posting as the holy spirit uh, alerts me 
Um, it'll be different because I'm going with God on this. Days are short. I've already been censored. I'm praying about what to do about that. I'll have an email when I'm knocked off this. And I want to make sure you folks have that email. And then um, I will write to you. I will write what God has. You know, that's that's coming. I believe we'll see it. Things are moving quickly. So be wise. Do not be afraid. Do not be in fear. I say these things to make you be wise, to spread the word, spread the videos. Uh, it's happening even quicker than my human mind uh, process, but I feel it. I know it. And you folks know it too. Many of you have that same intensity and that knowing in your spirit. So God be with you. Um, I'm going to just be obedient to him. I love you folks. Thank you for some of the offerings I received at the first of the month through the super chain, uh, super thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of your prayers and your precious comments. You guys keep me going. You guys keep me going. So God bless you. God be with you today. Amen. God bless. <laughs>